Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I'm up today with a surprise creation design team haul. Right first up surprise creation and this month she's released the in out notched edge rectangles try saying that quickly and also the squares and as you can see they fill my screen up there so I'm going to measure them. Now the rectangles are large and it's five and an eighth inches. That's what will leave the aperture and seven and an eighth inch. So if you're looking at the largest size of the frame, it would be five inches and seven inches. That is on the rectangle. And then on the square, I'll do what you'll be left with as a frame. It is six inches, I believe, all around this one. Yeah, you'd be left with a six inch frame or a six and an eight inch outer stitched edge, which would be um, an aperture. I hope I explained that correctly. <laughs> Next up is a planner die from Nicole and it's huge. It's not fitting into my camera very well, so I'm going to go sideways just to show one half of the page there. And it's a family tree. I am going to measure this in a second. I'm just moving it around so that you can see all of the bits. So you've got separate little frames here that will go onto the dangles of the tree. And then you've got the word family. Right, so, first of all, let us measure the length. And I'm going in the cut lines as always, eight and a quarter inches high. And then your width is, I'm trying to find that cut line, four and three quarters, just fraction over. So that's how big the family tree planner is. And I'll tell you how big, sorry, it's slipping out of its paper bag. Um, I'm going to measure the size of those frames so that you know how big your photos can be. You're looking at half an inch by half an inch. So I'll put my thumb there. You can see very, very small images or photos um, to fit in there really like that i think that would look nice actually as um an ink or you know paint kind of palette you could do all your colors and just dangle them in the trees or your bits of washi tape so if you haven't got any photos small enough you could uh, certainly use it for that so that is nicole's planner die and then next up i believe this is nicole as well and this is a shopping cart and this goes into your planner so you can make all your lists and stuff like that stuff it full of things decorate it you've got all of the separate wheels and then i will measure that for you so we are looking at whoops i'm dropping stuff on my lap here i think it's probably better if i pick it up for this one because it is big Right, four and a quarter inches to the cut line in height and then the width of it, five and a half inches. So that would go inside your planner or you could make just a little uh, mini book that you can keep your coupons or your shopping lists or something like that in. And this piece here will also turn it into a shaker. So you can have a shaker front. So that is the um, supermarket cart or trolley. Next up is the grocery basket. Now, I'm pretty sure that this can be a shaker as well. Let me just pull this one off and look. No, I don't think it can be. So this one can't be a shaker, but it is all the different layers for making um, a grocery basket and then once again you can pop that into a planner if I put the holes next to it 
you can see they match up with the supermarket so that you can make either a coupon or a grocery book or you can just pop them in your planner for your days when you're making your supermarket trip and the size of that one is five and a half inches and then height do this bit because it's the back panel and that is two and an eighth inches so that is the grocery basket and then next up I believe this is Nicole again and we've got all the vegetables so I haven't got a clue what vegetable that is so somebody can tell me but I think that's an aubergine or it can be um what do you call it a courgette zucchini we've got broccoli chili peppers we've got garlic with the layering piece which is really sweet and then you've got the radish you've got the um oh I know what that is fennel and then these could be potatoes or tomatoes they are tomatoes that's the vine yeah <laughs> I'm figuring it out now those are tomatoes that go to the vine so that's an awesome one and of course you can stuff your trolley or you can stuff your basket full of all sorts of vegetables and uh, you can see that they are nice sizes so I'll do the what I believe to be broccoli that's the biggest one it's two inches high and I'm doing cut lines one and three quarters wide so you know if you're doing harvest festival type stuff for schools or Thanksgiving that's a great one and then next up is the grocery bag so you've got the what would be the brown paper bag you've got chicken and you've got the separate chicken leg so that you can layer it up you've got salami or sausage you've got bread you've got this gorgeous egg carton and the eggs and then you've got your bottles and your jars which would be ketchup or what have you you've got your milk or your juice carton you've got layering bananas and you've got your cans which can be anything so if you're not into sort of like doing stuff like that all the time and you like a bit of pop art you can create a multitude of Campbell soup cans and make yourself a really funky card so the biggest bit is the bag so I'm going to measure that and that is two and a half inches and then if I go here it's two inches from the top point down to the base point so those are lovely lovely sizes and these of course can be used for Easter as well you can sort of like tie dye the tops of your little eggs and pop them in so that's multi-use and of course chicken turkey Thanksgiving so that's a great one and as I've just said you can do like pop art cans there and uh, you can use that as a milk carton to do milk and cookies for Santa because the tomatoes could be your cookies so you could cut those separately so great multi-uses right next up is my designs and I'm dropping them all over the floor which is a good start and first up is my portrait gallery and these are just frames for framing your stamps or for images for photos for your scrapbook and for cards and the biggest one is the square so two and a half inches make sure it's no it's not it's two and three quarter inches somebody needs to make me a coffee so that's two and three quarter inches square and you get the hanger and then you get the bit so you can have a different color nail or hook whatever it is you like to call it on top of your hanger and then the oval is two and three quarter inches and the scallop floral one is just over two and three quarter inches so that's the portrait gallery next up I've decided to get all charming this time and I'm trying to sift through my pile without dropping everything and find where I am right okay so I've done charms and I've done two sets of charms and I've done a spring set which is the butterfly flower and the clover which can be lucky or it can be St Patrick's Day so it's got multi-use 
and then you've got the Christmas set which is stitched and that one will emboss a snowflake so nice to do that one in foil but I've just you know gone charm mad because I just love them they're just nice little extras to put onto tags or for decorating a complete card right I'll do the biggest one and that's just over an inch in diameter as is the star the star is an inch and an eighth so those are the little card charms do the butterfly for this one from the hangy loop down and we are almost one and a quarter inches on the biggest one so those are the butterfly charms and then I did a little layering banner set so that you can cut them in different colors you can layer them up or you can just have them on their own but they're supposed to you know sort of cut, pull that one out layer up like that so that you can have different colours going on underneath and of course I'm up with a load of samples tomorrow and also samples on Monday and a tutorial uh, with one of these items on Tuesday and these are an inch next up is my split happy birthday balloon and this section splits and lays on top of here so that you can cut them in different colors and this piece is slightly smaller than this so that you can create a shadow around the edge but you'll see that when I uh, show you the samples tomorrow so the split birthday balloon is ooh, get that right three and three quarter inches down to its swirly twirly string and then going across, I suppose I should do the width of the base for that one, is just over one and a quarter inches. So that is the happy birthday balloon on a string. Next up is my little Halloween ghost. So we're jumping a season. <laughs> and there he is. What a wonderful expression. So I'm going to have fun making him. And if you saw the haul last month, um, you'll have seen the pumpkin and he kind of matches in with him and that is two and a quarter inches and then the width is ooh, just over one and a half inches so that's my little worried ghost next up is whoops my fan and this is an electric vintage fan you can see it comes with the wire and it comes with the plug it's got the hole there for the brad so that once you've put the whole thing together and I will show you this tomorrow you can spin it so it's one of those sort of like tactile play with it things that you can pop on a card or a book you can do it vintage style or bright colors uh, colors or candy colors have them going down in a row on a card and my printer isn't working because I just know the perfect sentiment I would have with this is I'm your biggest fan. And if you used a little heart-shaped brad in the middle, it would make a great masculine Valentine's Day card. So the height of the operating fan, it won't give you a cold breeze, but you'll have fun spinning it, is three and an eighth inches. And then if I go across the cut line there, we're going two and a quarter inches. So that is the moving fan. And then next up, if you bought my Christmas mitten last year, this is the matching stocking. So you get the top here that lays into here and then you get a separate snowflake. Of course, you can make a card, a tag. You can do whatever you want to with this. That's four and three quarter inches high. And then we're two and a quarter inches just over wide so you know there can be little placemats um, not placemats which you call them name cards that you pop on a place at Christmas or something and then last but not least is my quick book and you're looking at that and you're thinking what on earth and that's utterly confusing which is why we're having a Tuesday tutorial with this one next week so that will be the pieces that hold your pages that then go and get binded and that is your little torn pocket which you can put throughout the book or on the front cover you've got bloom and grow 
as the words and you've also got stitch flowers and I did those so that if you've got the butterflies and dragonflies they will match so you can use those with these so how big is that page because that's the important bit four and three quarter inches and then going across cut line to cut line is three and an eighth inch right so that is the haul I am up tomorrow with samples Monday will be samples and Tuesday will be a tutorial right thank you so much for watching have an absolutely awesome day and as usual all links below bye